Hello, Comanche Native here, and I'm with... Last Shot Legacy. And... Native Mercy. And we are here to, what, exactly? Give our opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About the survivors, the maps, as well as the new downloadable content that will be dropping soon this month of October, right? Yes. Yes. We're just going to get right into it. Up on the list is the cook's favorite, Connie. What do you guys think? What do you think of Connie and her wonderful abilities? Well, for me, um, she's supposed to be able to take out the locks faster, but I don't ever see too many people who play as Connie. I don't ever see them actually do that because my locks are usually still there and they're seldom ever gone. Yeah. Well, when I see Connie, she's always at the gate because she always leaves her teammates behind. That's true, too. I've seen a lot of Connies do that as well. I've seen a lot of Connies stab me as Bubba. Mm -hmm. Have you guys been stabbed by Connie? No, mm. not not usually. Uh, she's pretty... Uh, for, for me, it's always like a, just barely seeing her or anyone that plays at her. I barely find Connie... Uh, usually, uh, it's more like a... Anna and Julia, those are the ones I usually find wow. first. Wow. Yeah, but I don't. You're so ever, lucky. Yeah, I don't ever really run into a Connie player, or if I do happen to catch her, it's usually because, you know, someone else is chasing them. So they're pretty stealthy, or whomever plays as them. Yeah. What about you, Native Mercy? Hmm. Have you been stabbed by Connie? A couple of times, but uh, then. Well, as a Letterface, he always stabs me, but uh, I always end up catching him. Okay. Yeah. I think the the orange hair, I that's what I look for mm -hmm. in the tall grass all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's like, um, yeah, I don't, I, maybe I'm not looking for it, but I seldom ever see uh, Connie players up until like, like uh, Native Mercy said, right, when they're near the end or near the gate. But, uh... Yeah, like I said before about the locks, I don't ever see them using a, the ability to take that lock down because most of my locks are still there or it's still in good shape. I think they use that ability because it says to undo locks, but uh, for some reason they, they pop those uh, traps like yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. That's true. All right, up next is Leland. What do you guys think of Leland? I think it's a good. I, I think it was good that they gave a character like the ability to, uh, you know, kind of fight back or at least knock people down. Uh, it's more like shoving, yeah. Yeah, I HR think, shoving stuff. I don't think just looking at his height and size compared to Leatherface or Bubba, if you're part of the family, he shouldn't be able to knock Bubba down. No, I, no. I don't think so. I mean, yeah. I think he shoves a little bit, but it's not like full on. Yeah, he's enough to you know. Yeah, he can throw knock cook down and the other's down pretty easily I could sell but I just look me I don't think I don't know I don't think he's got that much strength to know well he's a wrestler I thought he was a football player I really did and they did something to his shove mm -hmm. so now it's sort of like Leland has to determine do I stab or do I shove or do I door slam because now that's you know us being killers they had mercy mm -hmm. on us and gave us the opportunity to just be immune to the other trolling stabs, stuns, shoves, door slams for about 10 seconds. Well, that's good, though, because uh, most Leland players I saw usually are they are not hiding because they want you to be they want to be seen so that they could be the guy that's going to constantly attack and kind of, you know, distract the, uh, you know, distract the other players, you know, the other uh, killers and everything. Yeah. Well, I think the Leland players, they're pain sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I think now they have to adjust to this new change, and I don't think they like it. No, I don't think they, think they like, like it, it either. either. They disconnect a lot, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the times when you the players disconnect, they uh, they you don't get the kill on the leaderboard. Aw. I didn't know that. I, I killed two people, and they uh, they disconnect it right when the animation starts, so it doesn't happen. Huh. Well, Anna is supposed to be the leader. She hmm. can do a lot. She can take the hits. 
She can take the falls, and she's immune to poison. And she is really, uh, she, you know, you can tell she's the leader by how much of, you know, the abilities you just mentioned and how mm -hmm. hard it is to to track and take her down. Uh, yeah. But I do know that, uh, you know, that all depends on, that all depends on the person that's playing as them. Sometimes, you know, Anna is a good character, but a lot of times if the person playing Anna is going to just troll, then, um... They usually kind of waste that of potential with her because uh, she's powerful. She can handle a lot of business. She can get out of it. But most people who play as her are like kind of like Leland. They're in the the killer's face trying to fight him and trying to yeah. troll them with multiple backstabs, yes. multiple door slams, and they're not doing anything except uh, that. You know. Well, I've been there. But why have Anna be this strong, and then? You know, what good is she with the rest of the victims? Is she just supposed to be a tank? Maybe. Maybe that's her and maybe that was her and Leland's uh you know role in the game was to either be a tank or a distract while the others, you know, went around and got things done. She does get killed a lot though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Up next is Sunny. Mm -hmm. Now, they nickname him the cutscene guy because no victims will play him. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I almost never see anyone playing as Sonny. For me, I don't understand why not. I mean, he has these great abilities, but mm -hmm. a lot of victims complain that, oh, I can't see what, what Sonny can see. Well, duh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's where you're supposed to communicate. Tell your teammates what he sees if you're playing as him. Yeah. Yeah. To a point, he's kind of like you were saying earlier. He's kind of like a, about the same strength as the cook with his hearing ability. Uh, but if he's not telling anyone what he sees, you know, then there was it, it's kind of a self-serving skill. You know? Yeah. What do you think, Native Mercy? You've been quiet all this time. Well, uh, not really. But uh, yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's okay. I mean, uh, but he. he he mainly hides when I when I run across him. Yeah. He's, he's always hiding. There's no uh, interactions. There's no not even him going after the uh, the gates as as uh, you know. As much. Well, you know what? Much. I'm starting to think that maybe the ability Sonny has is also a hindrance to the person's playing him because they're so you know they're looking at the sonar and everything they forget to hide. Because I always find them and, and kill them quick. Oh? Yeah. I've never ran into them. You know, almost never, barely run into anyone playing as them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they can heal each other. And I haven't seen anyone do that Me either. either. No. I think only he can. He can heal someone. Really? That sure. might be it. That's the reason why he's there is because he's the healer of the group. But no one uses him, so. Aww. Here comes hmm. Julie. The twerker. This, this she always Julie. twerks. <laughs> Whenever I yeah. see them, they're always twerking. I think they're doing right. it for their own <laughs> benefits. <laughs> yeah, and I always run into Julie. Yeah, I called her Julie earlier. Always, she always shows up, and she's everywhere. Everyone playing as her will just kind of just run fast, and it's not even because of the bright orange shirt that, or you know. The, that you could see her. Yeah. They just mm -hmm. don't hide as her, you know? Mm. What's right. her ability? Well, she she's Besides has twerking. A, <laughs> has a lot of stamina. She can move. She can, like, really, really hide and move. Mm. I've seen that. I've seen her go through narrow spaces just really fast. And I was like, man, she's got a lot of stamina. She can just go and go and go. But when they are safe, they love to twerk. Like you said, mm -hmm. they do. They love to do that. Especially with Bubba, when they go over, they just start twerking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the basement. I've seen that. Yeah, I try not to chase her because of all the, you know, the endurance, the stamina to uh, get get away. I don't give chase because usually they're running me from someone else. You know, they're like mm. so. Like we got like three people who are potentially like good. Uh, distractions, running, tanks, and everything. Even chasing her is a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe to you guys, but uh, not me. I'm, I just want that blood, you know. Up next mm -hmm. is Sissy. 
They mm-hmm. nerfed her her striking ability. Mm-hmm. I never. I haven't played her I heard, as much. I heard about that where mm-hmm. she's supposed to. She was poisoning people with the attack, but I never noticed that. As I was attacking, I just, uh, you know, because she has such lower uh, savagery in the beginning, I usually just would like try to poison them, you know, poison mist them, and then let that do most of the damage as I'm mm-hmm. like taking pop shots at them with slight small yeah. hits, you know. Well, I like throwing a mist at them, and then they just sitting there, and I'm just stabbing them because they're they're getting sick, and maybe that's the reason why they thought they had a poison attack because they were just standing in the mist, and the sissy was just stabbing them. Well, uh, you know what? That mist, I don't think they should be able to see that, mm. but they do. Well, I mean, it's the a green mist. Can see it. it is bright. It's a green, green mist. Yeah, yeah, the victims can see it though, yeah. so they can kind of move out of the way if they wanted. To avoid it. Well, uh, it depends on uh, what uh, you pick. I mean, you could have the thing uh, have a, a longer uh, wait time. Yeah. You know, a duration of the mist, which is pretty good. I feel sorry that they, they nerfed her swing. I mean, yeah. the killers are already... I mean, the victims are already fast. Yeah, that's true. We need, like, that edge. They did this to Johnny, too. Mm. And a lot of... Johnny Mains are, well, I don't think they're upset. They're trying to adjust. I've not played as him. I played as I him. Don't play I as think him. Johnny should have the ability to capture, like pick him up, grab him, pick him up off the ground, and then carry him because you know he's the uh, he's kind of buffy, you know. And the, yeah. they got, you have basically teenagers. Being able to shove Johnny down, a big muscled up man. <laughs> yeah. Well, they say he I mean, has, he uses his good looks to lure a victim in. And I'm thinking, well, maybe he should use that like a vampire, you know? Mm-hmm. Do like a stare down and pull them, like make them stop doing what they're doing just so he could get some slices in. Mm-hmm. But they say he uses his good looks. I'm like, okay. And right. then they just, they give him a tracking villain, which is okay, but it, you track dead bodies as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, I see you, you, that. I, see I that. tracked one person down to just the, the corpse laying on the ground. Right? <laughs> I said, oh, there he is. I said, oh, I know exactly what happened. I think if if they die, the footprint should turn red. So you won't mm-hmm. track them. But or, or gray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah grayed out. There you go. So up next, we are going to talk about the maps. And it's Slaughterhouse map. Mm. What do you guys think? Way too many cracks. Way too many cracks. I mean, there's like... I mean, the thing's basically falling apart. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, there is just too many cracks, too many nooks and crannies. People can just run and slide through all over the place. I think the basement gate, which is called the sewer exit, mm. it's too easy. Mm. It's too easy for them. It is. It feels like the largest map, uh, but you know that's a lot more ground to cover. And I usually, if I'm, I'm in the cook. That's about getting over there to at least lock one area and then trying to make sure I can lock the other. Yeah, it it's, is hard for the cook. It's a lot. It's bigger, especially since the cook runs so slow. But um, right. it um, <laughs> you know, having worked together and actually, I've been like, there. you know, you know, with you two and like had actual games together where we communicated, mm-hmm. we've been winning on this map a lot more than I uh, uh, yeah. even before. But there's, yeah. there's just way too many uh, ways to bypass certain locked doors. Yeah. In that map. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, think so. That's a, to, but it also, to that point, it's the funnest because it's a harder challenge to find them. But then when you do find them, they scatter. Yeah, they run they straight do. for those cracks. Mm-hmm. Up next is a gas station. What do you What are you guys' opinion on this one? This one, we've played it a lot. I still feel like there's a lot more to it that I'm not really getting like i know i you know as the cook i, I appear right at the uh, exit right there and i yeah. gotta make sure that that's secured but there just feels like there's so much more to this map but it does it, it, even though i say that it is it does feel like it's the smallest you yes know? and they have a, a a way that's just out of the you know, it's just like you can't don't even need to take that there's like this grassy area like way off in the distance from the whole whole main map that yeah. it, it's it seems unnecessary to have. It's just like for theatrical uh, aspects, yeah. like an homage and they to the movie. Through the gas station mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. 
That's like their go-to. And again, the if like if it's a, a crack in the door, I think Cook should be able to close it. Have the ability to close the door. Oh yeah, those uh, pried open doors and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, that's irritating. That's so irritating that they could just kind of like, you know, one lock and they're they're done. And half the mm-hmm. time they don't even leave. They sit there and troll and right twerk on the at road. the exit. Yeah. Twerking in the road. There should be cars coming by that just <laughs> rams them right in the town of Newt. Just like them runs them over in an insta kill. Like they did the hitchhiker, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Little time limit. Like you got to leave. Take off right now <laughs> or die. Up next is the family house map. What do you guys think about this one? That's actually pretty good. I like the fact that they they made the battery on because that was the that was the uh, if you're playing a trapper, I mean the, the uh, hitchhiker, you have to put your traps up and then walk all the way to the edge of the map yeah. and turn on that battery. Uh, now that it's it's on, I'm happy because if you think about it, especially like at the map at night. Uh, he would, they would turn on the battery to keep young know, people from leaving, uh, from yeah. um, uh, locking up. I think know? the fuse, though, that's upstairs, mm. it should be somewhere else on the property besides upstairs. Mm. Again, there's there's too many cracks. There's too many cracks in the 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 map on this one. Yeah, because it like, does seem easy. I mean, it's, they it's get a that house. fuse and they jump out the window, jump it's, down the well. Yeah, it's a house, and you know. They don't fix up their their places. <laughs> <laughs> they got cracks all over the place. And... To me, it's a, it is a fun the one of the funnest maps. I like mm-hmm. uh, how much there is around that they could hide in and we could get to them. Yeah. Uh, just catching them though. That's you know like I said, mm-hmm. just getting through all the cracks as you mentioned. Mm-hmm. Now this is the new DLC that's going to be coming out, and these are pictures from their trailer that they put up. This is Leatherface's new look. What do you guys think? It kind of looks like that uh, from the f- second movie. Yeah. When he took off his uh, his jacket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think the artistry in this is amazing. You know, the face for the eye ho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, it's a face. That's a nice, yeah, that's you a see nice it? touch, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I mean, I like it. I like it. It's it's done really well. Is that Leland? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Put Connie there. Oh, Connie. I swear <laughs> that oh, those Connies just drive me crazy. I just don't like it. But yeah, I, I like how this is done. It's really done really well. And I just can't wait for it to to be released. You know what the killer I would like to see is the um, the one from the second movie, the uh, the army with the oh the guy with the plate in the yeah. head. Yeah, say like chop top. I think I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, that was that would be a That'd killer be cool. I would like to to see in the game. That would be cool. What about the sheriff? Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. You know, I mean, Ow. the one that took the family out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'd be horrible. <laughs> but yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I, I like the way this looks. It looks. Uh, do you it, think yeah. they might do that? They might. Just like they did on on, you know, Friday the Thirteenth. They had the guy show up with the shotgun. What if they do? bring that sheriff with the uh, chainsaws that's fine we're gonna move out of the way of them get out of there well you guys will they usually go after me if i'm playing bubba <laughs> i'm done for i kind of like how they did this though you know i it shows like a lot of passion for the project they went in they rendered it this 3d effect you know they they have it all ready to go i like that I like how it, you know, how much is dedicated to this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, now you can see it in the face on the top there. Yeah. Not as much. I mean, the drawing, well, you know how it is when they draw and then render and see, you, you can't really tell that's a face. I think they need, need to, to put teeth. 
Yeah. You know? You, you just... I think uh, the cook needs uh, those outfits from the second movie. Yeah. That would be awesome. Since uh, he has this outfit from the second movie, I think he uh, the cook should have that. I mean, talk hat. about the second movie. What about the hitchhiker? Mm-hmm. He was in there, but he was all... Well, skeleton. Like skele- yeah. <laughs> Why? Why not? You know, mm-hmm. you know they have a lot of potential to do whatever with this, uh, you know, franchise. They don't have to really follow exactly just from movie to movie and was... all the remakes. I mean, they have because that's, you know, that was what the whole licensing thing happened with the last one is that they were trying to go full on like movie focused and they kind of messed it up because of all the, yeah, li- you know, licensing problems mm-hmm. they had to deal with. Yeah, you know, they could just like. Go and make some pretty elaborate, crazy-looking costumes. I mean, they really want to mess things up. At one point, you know, Bubba Leatherface should be able to wear the faces of those victims. You know? Oh, well, what about Sunny though? Now, It'd be the same thing, like Dead not, by Daylight. Or the thing ooh. about Sunny is that no one plays it as him, oh, so we don't well, ever there catch you go. Him. Yeah. <laughs> What about have it like a trinket, like their face is just like under his belt. Like, hanging down from him. Like, that's how many times he killed. Oh, that'd be messed up. How about, have a jacket with faces. Wow, that would be really... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I was thinking maybe they should have, like, a... Oh, go ahead. No, that's it. That's it. Oh, this that's is the price. Oh, I can, what do you guys I can, think? I can do that. I'm oh, getting it. I mean, uh, the it. reason why most uh, victims don't like that price is because, you know, they got a whole bunch of, like, a plethora of skins. I mean, the killers don't have skins yeah. at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I would like to buy that. What about you, last? If they're putting that much effort into one, that's not bad. As long as, long as like, uh, the, you know, the updates that are coming, like, they're giving a lot of that out for free, which isn't too bad of a thing yeah you know mm-hmm. i personally will get it i will mm-hmm. it's not bad but like it compared to other dlcs come on mm-hmm. it is 16 dollars though for the one character yeah well i mean look what you get though you get the outfit you get the chainsaw and then execution mm-hmm. is, the, is the execution gonna be like that uh um that doesn't look good what he's about to do to him though whatever right. that is <laughs> Universal uh, signature kill. What is that? It was exclusive exclusive saw with uh, custom sound. No, that's not bad. Now, is it gonna be that one where he uh, cuts uh, cuts the head off and they're hanging on to trying to hang on to the head and it slides oh, off? Oh my goodness! <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> I don't know. When I get it, I'll show you guys and then you guys decide. Yeah, I'll get All it. Right. I'm, I'm gonna get it. It, okay. It's a it's a decent price, you know. Compared to the other DLCs mm-hmm. that are out there in the games, I think it is a reasonable price. And mm-hmm. killers need more skins rather than the victims. They have a whole library of skins. Yes, yes they do, they do. Well, we're gonna end the video here, guys. This is Comanche Native and Last Shot Legacy and Native Mercy, and we hope to hunt you later. Hopefully, right. <laughs> <laughs> When we play, beware because it's gonna hurt.